What's up, guys? I'm at the music store today. Look at all those fucking strings. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. He works here. <laughs> I figured I would uh, shoot a different video, you know, like different scenery so y'all don't have to look at my ugly mug, you know, in the, the studio. I'm probably going to be pasting this crap together. Uh, this is the guy I want to come and do the, the little set downs with uh, and talk about music. Uh, anyways, this is the first half of the vlog. I'll catch you through the rest of the day. Okay, guys, I figured I'd show you some of the guitars I got up here. This one right here. This is a what is this called, Jay? Hellfire. Hellfire. Yes, sir. This is a DBZ, DBZ Diamond Guitars Hellfire. If you're familiar with DBZ, Dean Zelinski used to own it and he sold off his rights, so they don't like you calling them Dean Zelinski guitars. Uh, anyways, this this guy right here has. Does it have a JB and a 59? It's got a JB, I think, right here, and a 59 Classic right here. Seymour Duncan. And it's a mahogany body with a spalted maple top right there. Anyways, I, I figured I'd show y'all some of the instruments that got down here. Anyways, that, anyways that's a DBZ Hellfire. This right here, guys, you probably won't see very many of these guys because this is one of those weird guitars they got in that... Doesn't seem to really have a model number. It's an Ibanez Artist. But if you look, it's got EMGs in it. The blue one's a 60, right? I think it's a 60 and an 81. But this guy's got a mahogany back in a... It's got a quilted maple top that's purple. A gorgeous guitar. It has quite a bit of weight to it. What do y'all guys think? I can't hear you. You can hear me. I can't hear you. God damn, those guys are fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Look at two of them taking up the whole fucking couch. Hey, it's a little couch. Hell no. <laughs> Maybe on your cell phone it looks small. <laughs> Shit, real life is big. <laughs> Guys, this is just my morning. I'm a. Uh, we'll see the rest of the, the day as it transpires. <laughs> I figured I'd show y'all some of the more expensive guitars, and I'm not gonna, you know, pick them up just because I'm being lazy. <laughs> but here's some of the more expensive guitars. That right there, guys, is a D'Angelico bass. Uh, Sam hollow body. I don't know what, what the model number is, but it's... <clears throat> I do believe it's maple, flame maple back and sides and top. Yeah, it looks like it's flame maple everything. And the neck. There's another uh, D'Angelico guitar right there. Sam hollow body. Uh, if you haven't heard of these, these are like a Korean version, I guess, of a Gibson. If you can say that. No, they're Korean. They're from Korea, but their company's out of New York. That's one of the reasons why I was like, man, they're overpriced. I'll show you their Les Paul version right here. This is like their Les Paul. You know, really nice guitars, but the only bad thing is you know, I can get a crease built guitar that's this nice for $800. Uh, the little, the one little touch that they did do is these are actually rosewood uh, knobs or actual wood, which to me is pretty cool. As you can see, there's a, there's a Dean ML 79 in Brazilian, Brazilian burst. That's a pretty nice guitar. 
you know, and they got, they got a crap ton of guitars. Oh, there's a, I don't know whose signature that is, but. This one right here, guys, is a, it's a seagull. These guys are actually made in Canada. This is my favorite one they got in. This is the new one they got in. It's walnut. Walnut back and sides. Look at that piece of wood. That's to me that's just gorgeous. Come to realize they play a lot of crap on the radio stations now. Uh, just driving back to the house right now. I'm gonna get my buddy uh, JC some a Coke because <laughs> he's thirsty. Man, man, they play some off crap on the radio nowadays, man. Look at this random dude. Random dude. Random dude. Man. <laughs> G, so I can listen to the stuff that's on my phone. Anyways. Okay, guys, I'm back at the studio. The end of my day, I spent most of the day up there at the, the guitar uh, store. I didn't have much to do today. Uh, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. You know, you got to check out some of the guitars they got up there. Uh, it was a little different. Uh, whenever I figure out um, what I'm going to do in the next video, I'll let y'all guys know. Uh, another update, vlog update or anything. Anyways, you know, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you on the next video.